Let's chat. Welcome back to Let's Chat. I'm Taylor Bishop. Well, joining us now is Madison Bradford. She is the Development and Communications Manager for Habitat for Humanity. Good morning, Madison. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell me about this Women Build project that's going on. Sure, yeah. So Women Build is a pro program that uh, we take part in every year, and it's about empowering women to take a stance on affordable housing um, and also get their hands dirty and, and work on our Women Build home. So we do a new construction home every year. We kick it off in March, and we are um, wrapping it up this June. Nice. So how important is it for women to learn how to build and knowing how to financially plan to own that home? It's incredibly important. I mean, so many of our homeowners that we work with, um, you know, our homeowners become homeowners by purchasing their home at a 0% interest rate. Um, they are disproportionately affected, women are. And so having the actual access to, to learn these tools financially and actual hands-on tools is so important for the longevity of our community. So can we talk a little bit about how we expect, what we expect, excuse me, to take place during the Women's Build? Sure. So we have um, four Women Build teams this year, and each one of them is working um, through the month of June each Saturday. Okay. Uh, unfor unfortunately, we don't have any volunteer spots open for other people right now. Um, COVID threw us a little bit of a curveball with yeah. that, but... You know, with rolling with the punches and everything, we're really excited that this home is still going to be completed on time despite the chaos that 2020 is. Good. That's great news. And Madison, can you tell us a little bit about the family that is going to receive this home? Absolutely. This is a wonderful family. Um, Yagub and Taba are actually from Sudan. They're a refugee family with three wonderful children, um, Abdelmani and Idadal and Abdallah. And they met when they were in a Jordan refugee camp. Um, they were resettled to Chattanooga in 2016 through Bridge Refugee Services, who is one of our wonderful partners. We have a lot of refugee families through our program. Um, you know, and, and just thinking about it, I can I can see the children now. Uh, they're eight, five, and two, mm. just pl being able to actually play in their yard. Yeah. Um, they left Sudan when there was a civil war going on. So this family has literally traveled across the world so that they could have a safe, decent, affordable home. Wow, wow. And yeah. That, that speaks volumes right there. And then for you personally, what are you just most passionate about, about this build and being help, able to help mm -hmm. other women and families? Women Build is so important to me. It holds a really special place in my heart. Um, I actually started out in construction a few years back at okay. our uh, Habitat affiliate. And so being able to help women on the build site and empower them in ways that um, they may never have had before, may not have had the access to before. Uh, it's, it's really a wonderful thing to see and the energy on a women build site is so um, exciting and vivacious and women are really excited to um, actually you know, be very hands-on about this. And Madison, can we talk about how the house is not free? They still have to work to no. own the home. Can we talk about that? Yeah, a lot of people have the misconception that we just give homes away, and mm -hmm. that's not true at all. Um, Yagub and Teba have actually been in our program two years now, working towards becoming homeowners. We sell our homes to the future homeowners at a 0% interest mortgage, so that it is truly affordable uh, for families. The families also have to put in um, anywhere between two and 400 hours of what we call sweat equity or mm -hmm. volunteer type hours, um, which serves as their down payment for their home. Okay. So um, this family has put in 400 hours wow. to go towards their home. And they've also gone through 20 homeowner education classes because we want our families to be able to actually succeed when they get into mm -hmm. their homes and anything um, the class topic can be from plumbing to foreclosure prevention, um, anything big to little. Well, Madison, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate everything you do and look forward to seeing the home once it's finished. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.